Hello, my dear friends. How are you? Simple question. Are you under an influence of a cigarette or are you under an influence of a ritual? Let me help you to understand what I'm saying. I remember in my college days, uh, we used to have less money and, you know, we used to hang out with friends and the most, uh, you know, creative thing that we used to think is the smoking. So we used to hang out, we used to sit next to each other, buy like one or two cigarettes and then we used to share those cigarettes. So somehow, uh, when we started smoking, some of the earlier smokers who told us that smoking is really cool and there is a ritual associated to it. So we suddenly got very excited and we started observing them, how they smoke and what is the ritual is all about. So if, uh, so I remember I used to share my cigarette. When, when I used to take a puff and I used to share my cigarette with my friend, there used to be a, wa a way to share that. We cannot share the cigarette in this way. You have to give it with the respect. Then uh, another ritual was like, you know, if you're smoking, you should always get the smoke out in upward direction, not in the downward direction. Because somehow if you smoke it, get the smoke out in the upward direction, that means that you're powerful or maybe you are a positive person. Well, my dear friends, if you think this is BS, now I feel it's BS. But at that point of time, we used to feel very proud. So what happened later on, uh, we progressed in our life and then we were used to, I used to manage, uh, you know, a whole packet of cigarettes. Then a new ritual came in that let's put one cigarette upside down so that, you know, it brings a lot of luck. <laughs> I laugh at this point of time right now, but at that point of time, I felt what I'm doing. Then I, one day I saw myself teaching the same ritual to new smokers that you, you should smoke in certain way. You should share your cigarette in certain way. You should smoke upwards, keep one upside down cigarette and blah, 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 blah. The moment I realized that what the hell I'm doing? With these rituals, I found out that these rituals are actually making me dependent on cigarette, dependent on smoking, so that I should, instead of feeling guilty, I should feel pride, proud of this addiction. But to be honest with you, it's a fake pride, it's a fake proudness that you feel when you smoke a cigarette. Because to be honest with you, it gives you a, like a fraction of seconds of relaxation and you are bam, go back to your problems again. The cigarette never helps you. Do you have certain kind of ritual in your smoking pattern? Is this ritual stopping you to quit cigarette? Next time when you are smoking, observe yourself. Next time you're smoking with your friends, observe yourself and ask this question. Am I doing the right thing? Am I addicted to the ritual or am I addicted to this cigarette? Or I'm just being confused. I'm Anand. I'm your smoke free coach. Thank you for listening. And you guys are awesome. Life is simple. Quitting is simple. Being smoke free is simple. Ask me how in the comment box. Thank you very much.